So now, let's start with basic animation inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So, uh, to start with animation, first of all, I'm going to uh, draw out an object which I want to animate. So I'm going to take my pencil tool right here, or you can also take the brush tool, up to you. I'm just going to take my pencil tool for a very simple drawing. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to make something like a car. I'm not going to worry about its details. And this is what I want to animate. So this is my car right over here. There you go. You know, it doesn't look great, but this is what we're going to work with right now. Maybe there are headlights as well. All right. So this is the frame that we have. And I want the car to actually animate from left to the, to the right. Let's say, for example, this is what I want. And this is the first layer of drawing. And I want to rename this out. So I'm going to double click on it and rename it as car body just like this. So this is my car body, as you can see. So now I'm going to add in another layer where I have tires and I want the tires to animate back and forth. So I'm going to click on the plus icon right over here and I'm going to click on drawing. That's another drawing layer. I'm going to add and close and this is going to be the wheels. So wheels right over there. So I'm going to draw out my first frame, which is the wheel right over here, just like this. This is my wheel. Okay, two wheel of the car and I need to, I want to add in another frame over here uh, that is going to be animated. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn on onion skinning so that I can see the previous frame for reference. So I'm going to have two variations of the wheel so that it looks like as if it is rotating. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to add in a bit of a streak over here as well as if the wheels are rotating just like this. So just like this, another wheel as well. So there is a variation in animation. Let me just disable the view of the first layer and let's see the animation right here. So it actually looks something like this. And now I'm also able to choose the frame from the library right here from drawing substitution. So we're going to see how to animate it accordingly. So now let me just turn on and let me just turn on uh, both of the layers. And now what I want to do is I want the animation to be around 60 seconds long. So I want the wheels to keep on rotating and I want the overall animation to be 60 seconds long. So I drew uh, out my main frames, which I need to keep on my animation. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is I can just turn off onion skinning now. So I'm going to add in the frame. So, so the car body will remain as it is. So I'm going to go over here and add in frames over here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and press the plus icon and that will increase out the frame range as you can see. And you don't see any division right here. That means it is the same frame which is extensing, uh, extending. So I'm going to hold shift and press the plus button right over here. And once I keep on pressing plus, you can see that I can make it around 60 frames long. So this is what I want right now. So car body is there on all of the frames as you can see right now. So what else I, wa I want to do is I want to increase these frames as well. So I'm going to go at the end right over here, press shift plus, and there you go. I can add in frames over here just like this. So now if I were to actually go in the beginning, you can see that the tire is actually rotating, but I want it to rotate along just like this. So I can actually go over here. I can go over here and here on the front on the timeline, you can see that there's one here. There's two. That means it, in, it is using the second drawing. I can actually go anywhere on the spot and say one so that it actually goes back to the first drawing just like this, as you can see. And there's a sort of a line right over there. So there's the, there you go. There's the first drawing, second, first, and so forth. You can also go over here onto the library and change out the wheels right over here, right over here, go back, or you can also go to the zero frame, but that simply means no drawing. You don't want that. You actually want the drawing right there. So this is one. So randomly, I'm going to select both of the drawings just like this, and you can see how easy it is. So you can just choose the drawings, all of the drawings, that you make on the frames will appear over here. So we only have two variations. So only two variations actually came out over here. So I can go over here. I can go over here just like this and then go over here. And then maybe at the end, I want the animation just like this. All right. So now once I change the frame, this is how it looks like. If I were to press the play button on the left side, what happens is that you can see that the car wheel seems like it is animating. If I want to add in more frames, simply go on to the blank spot right here and change the frame just like this. And there you go. This is like a group of animation. So we are just working around with the movement 
of the overall car right now so we are just working around with what is what is happening within the car itself as you can see and now what i want to do is i want to animate the whole car from left to right so now i want to do a motion animation so what i have to do now is select both of the layers just like this the wheels and the car body so I just select both of them and make sure that the animate current frame is actually turned on so this has to be turned on and now to do a position animation you can actually choose this you can use the transform tool right here and this lets you select the overall car so both of the layers has to be selected for this so if you don't select uh, both of the layers then only one will be selected so now in order to move the car to position i'm gonna go over here take my mouse go over here click on the center panel right here move it on the left so this is going to be the first uh uh, the first initial starting area where the car will animate from and you can see that a keyframe sort has been added on the beginning now I'm going to go all the way to the end this won't affect the animation that is happening internally within the frames so you can see that this is the first animation and the last animation I'm just going to click and drag this out right here so you can see that now there's a sort of an animation going on so if I were to press the play button now you see this is what happens so the car is actually animating the frames that we actually animated stayed there and the overall object is actually moving from left to right as if like it's a own group so I can actually go over here and since we are still in the transform option I can move it a bit above so you can see that this actually will look like it is the car actually going up for a bit and down just like this so I can actually go over here and change out the position just like that so there's an up and down motion as well and you can see that the keyframes are being added over here just like that so I can just press the play button and you can see that this is how it looks now. So you got the frame by frame animation as well, just like that. So we just had to add in frame by frame animation uh, to the wheels. As you can see, the car body is as it is. And we added in the motion over here, just like that as well. Let me just uh, enable the loop as well and play it out so that it plays time and again. So that is how you can do a basic animation inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.